Ladies and gentlemen, another Wednesday, another design corner or a dev diary, what have you. Every two weeks, we get a sneak peek at the upcoming DLC slash update patch, whatever. Today, we are talking about the naval rebalance. I am excited for this. What does Corax have to say? Let's check it out. So they open up with being honest. They don't like the way the current system works because good ship design for Hearts of Iron 4 does not make sense compared to the real world. Combat revolves entirely around exploits, light cruisers, anyone? Well, heavy cruisers with light attack or just sub spams. And the meta, the meta is completely ahistorical. Now their goals are to clean up the design process and have a meta based upon good structure and some, some key values and making historical choices in naval design work well in the game. And to that end, they have redone the tech tree, redone the ship designer, and they've fiddled with some stats regarding hit profiles, such as how easy a ship is to hit, spotting, and overall fleet composition. So let's check out the tech tree first. The biggest change here is that they have added a new tab. They have split off all the ship hulls, so your various ship hulls and directly hull related stuff like the snorkels or the um, smoke generators are now in their own separate tab. You all recognize these that they're still the same boats we know and love or hate. Now if they also made the time to research these a little shorter. I can see myself enjoying the naval game a little bit more and all of the other techs like your guns have been moved to their own little tab the naval support tab. It's looking a lot cleaner and um, they've also moved a couple of things around as you can see the batteries you have your lights your medium and your heavies and the ammunition types are no longer their own separate research line leading to a bunch of additional research no they're integrated into the lines for the various turrets so you will automatically hit those techs as you're progressing through the tree a lot cleaner there's also far fewer battery types to research in this because they have integrated some stuff into the basic turret types like let's scroll down here because there will be no longer secondary battery techs to be researched separately secondary battery techs will be integrated into the medium gun techs. As you can see here, you research one tech and it gets you not one, not two, but three different turret types. So that's your medium, probably your light medium, and then your secondary turret. Of course, all of this work in progress. None of these stats are final. And you can see here, they have also filled with a current research times like they've taken away the xp boost that you could use to speed things up but to compensate they've made almost everything significantly faster to research that really invites people to dive into the navy a bit more instead of just setting up a line to spam out submarines forever another big change for the guns is the dual purpose guns they have been split off from the light guns so the light line will lead to dual purpose guns but they've also nerfed dual purpose guns at least the first two Two ones uh, essentially they will be given AA attack so they can actually shoot down airplanes but as a result they will have less piercing so they will be a little more challenging to pierce an actual ship with armor uh, but you know you can shoot down airplanes except for the final one the uh, highest tier of dual purpose gun will have some decent piercing decent anti-air and it will wreak havoc on enemy aircraft and destroyers alike so a lot more realistic in that sense as well choices will have to be made Made. Then this is a bit more technical, but they're also working on hit profiles and damage. Essentially, they will change the calculation on how difficult it is to hit a ship based on speed, displacement, various techs, radar, fire control, torpedo tech, etc. All of that will now work differently in deciding when a hit lands. Now, I am not the best guy for numbers. I recommend you read through this dev diary and make your own conclusions, but they're essentially adding a whole bunch of stats to existing techs, like hit chance. They're rejiggering the, the various ship speeds, making some ships faster, some ships slower, resulting in overall a more balanced hit chance across the board instead of having uh, destroyers that are so fast that they can never be hit and battleships that are so slow that it's almost impossible to miss them. And to that end, of course, they are also making some changes to spotting. So there will be now a minimal cap to spotting so that essentially if a task force runs for 10,000 hours, which is like a year and a half, I think, it will be guaranteed to spot something that's in the same sea zone. There's also going to be random chances to instantly bump into an enemy. So a 4% chance 
chance to encounter a task force means every hour you have a 4% chance to just randomly find the enemy because you got lucky. Plus, they'll add more information to the fleet panels regarding your sub detection, surface detection, just making it a little more bearable. Fleet compositions are also being changed. Again, this is a little bit more of an abstract change. In short, their plan is to make it less punishing to use strike forces because the way the game works right now, a strike force shows up to the battle late after their spotters have already started the fight and as a result they arrive with a pretty hefty penalty to positioning and you start off at a disadvantage which kind of sucks because that's the whole point of a strike force is to show up after you know the enemy's been found so i i'm not a genius again i don't understand all of these numbers if you do feel free to read through this but in short it will suck less to have strike forces and it will be more beneficial to have actual good ship types instead of just having a lot of ships because of the way they are just tweaking the numbers a bit this should be fun i i think this should be fun again the ship designer getting a lot changes as well the biggest one possibly is that it's no longer possible to have cruisers with both traits of a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser i think we all know and love the current heavy cruiser with light attack meta so that's gone once you slot in one gun type that's it it's a light cruiser and it can only fit light guns or heavy guns depending on what you chose that's i guess that's a good thing kill that exploit off but i hope the alternative they're offering is equally well fun i guess again a lot of numbers being changed rebalancing overall i recommend you read through this entire panel it has some very good information in there uh, it's it's too much to just cover right now overall it's just a numbers rebalancing hopefully a, a, they can achieve what they want with this in the end what it's going to come down to is that faster ships are going to be much harder to hit around 40 knots then you've got your medium ships, 35 knots, still being okay. And then your slow boats, around 30 knots. And then your older garbage and some submarines will be slower than that even. And if you want to match things up, well, you're going to need to upgrade. So maybe there will be a viable upgrade path for ships that already exist or ships that you capture. We'll see. Another nerf to submarines. So that meta is getting uh, tweaked. They're going to make submarines a lot more visible, especially especially the sub two, uh, sub threes and sub fours. They're boosting sub visibility by a lot because let's face it, 1944 and 1940 submarines with the right traits and the right admiral were literally invisible to the AI. So unfortunate if you were playing one of those minor nations that could now suddenly compete at sea, I think those days will be gone. I hope they give us a nice alternative and radar fighter control also being changed. Instead of giving you light attack or heavy attack, they're adding your hit chances and fire control systems will no longer give you a penalty to reliability. That's good because I have no idea why they did that in the first place. I don't think Paradox knows either. And then a couple more nerfs to the submarines. Rip my subby boys. Uh, torpedo attack is just being nerfed across the board, but they are getting a hit chance modifier. So maybe that's good. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know how this is going to play out in the end. I think overall realistic fleets will be more realistic and the days of the sub and heavy cruiser spam are just over and that brings us to the end really uh, not a lot of interesting dev responses in the thread down there mostly clarifying that they forgot to add some things and then edited out the main post overall i am excited for this change i i do hope they offer us a good alternative though for all the things they're taking away i know the meta currently is a bit stupid but it did give chances for little guys to uh, compete at sea or for just you know having fun with the navy i hope they can still offer those two options in a more realistic way anyway let me know in the comments what you are looking forward to the most with these naval changes and what do you think the next dev diary is going to be about i'll see you in the next one goodbye